guys, it's Jess, and this is my first ever haul video. A couple of my blogging friends, Mrs. Green from mrsgreen.info and Heather Mann from Dollar Store Crafts have done a few of these haul videos and I always thought they were a good idea. And then I saw Heather's most recent video where she got a huge shipment of goodies from Fire Mountain and told us that they were having this $1 sale where you could get fantastic deals on jewelry making supplies. So I figured, you know what, I'll get in on this $1 sale and make a haul video. So here we are. This just came today and so I'm about, I already cut it to open it, but I haven't looked at anything yet. So let's crack into it. All packed with love. All right, so you can see comes with a nice catalog. Holy cow. This is giant. And you can see they have just about everything you could want for jewelry making from findings to beads to, um, I guess, the wire. So there you go. They have a huge supply and right now that $1 sale is going on and um, everything I got was like a dollar or less. I got everything from the dollar sale. So everything was a dollar or less. So let's get into it. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna move the box off to the side so you can see the beads a little better. Let's, let's see, ooh, it's all packaged up. So the first thing are these little flat alligator clips. And I got these because my daughter has pretty thick hair for a four-year-old. So when I buy her hair bows at the store, a lot of the times they don't stay in. So I figured I'd get some of these nice strong alligator clips and I could make her some hair pretties myself. Next, let's see here. Oh, this is a little gift. It is, I don't know what this is, a tangle tamer? Oh, oh okay, a spool tamer. You put this around your spool of wire so it doesn't unspool on you. That was nice. And I also have some of these spacer beads. Um, the couple of projects that I have done jewelry-wise on Madden Crafts, um, and the only one that I've shown here on my YouTube channel, was a three-strand necklace. And I love those multi-strand necklaces and bracelets. And these let you space them out so you can have three strands all next to each other, but they don't get all tangled and jumbled. So I'm going to maybe use something, use those to make a necklace for Easter this week already. These I was intrigued by on, yep, on the website. They are little connector findings. You can see the picture right here where they connect lengths of chain and then they, you can also use a bale to put another bead or a focal piece from them. But they kind of look like embroidery, which I thought was neat. So I'll find a use for those. Hopefully you can see all of this. I should check. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see here. I got some stringing wire, some bead wire, because I still have some left from the last project that I did. But I don't want to run out of this, because you can't make a necklace if you don't have any wire. So I got a couple of spools of that, and again, I think these were like less than a dollar or a dollar each, which is why I got more than one. All right, now for the really fun stuff. We're getting into the actual beads here. Oops, sorry. This is a big package of freshwater pearls that have been dyed. And they are in a whole bunch of little colors. And you can see they're in really pretty shades of teal and green and purple and I figured that I could make a necklace out of these and it's one of those necklaces that you, then you can wear it with almost anything because it's got all the colors right in there a lot of jewel tones um kind of remind me of Mardi Gras colors actually the purple and the yellow together all right so I got a bunch of those because those were super cheap I, I want to say these were like I can't even tell from the label I want to say these are like a quarter a strand but don't quote me on that I will put all the product and information in the description of this video so you can tell exactly what it was that I got. And here's some more. This is a mix of cane 
glass beads. And again, we got two little baggies of that. And these are really pretty because they're kind of like tube shaped, but in a variety of shapes. Whoops. You'll see that one that I just filled. That's a triangle. And here's sort of a diamond shape and a flower shape. And then in the center of the bead is color. And then the outside is sort of acrylic. See, it's a tiny little guy. So I thought those would be fun for a bracelet or a necklace. Got two packages of those that hopefully I can put back in there, little baggies. I should have looked for some storage containers when I was at Dollar Tree today. I bet you they would have had something. Guess I'll just have to go again. All right, here, wait, I missed one. Here are some chip beads. These are ones that are made from natural crystals that they just kind of chip off to make the beads. Oops, this is on the strand. These are beautiful. My daughter is going to want to steal these from me because they look like something Princess Elsa would wear. They're sort of an icy blue, purple, um, well, it's a chip bead, so they're all unique shapes, and they, they definitely look like ice, so I'm going to have to keep her little hands away from those, I think. And again, I got several packages of those because they were on a great sale and that's all going to come together to make a pretty necklace I think and then this is a thing that I am super super excited about this is just a huge mix of acrylic beads and they sell these by ounce I think they're four ounces yep a quarter pound per bag and it's just a grab bag I have no idea what's in here. I can see there's some shape beads and some crystal beads and all sorts of little spacers. And so these are going to be a lot of fun to go through and to just try and figure out different uses for everything. Because they don't really match. Ooh, that one's fun. Can you see that? I don't want to try and get it out right now because I have to open the whole package and it'll all spill. But I'm really excited to just go through all of these and see what treasures are inside. Ooh, look at that. It's like an Art Deco-y focal piece. Got some other ones shoved inside it right now. Yeah, definitely going to use that one. All right, I can hear my dog getting unruly downstairs, which means the kids are probably getting into trouble too. So again, I got these from Fire Mountain Beads, and they have a $1 sale going on right now. <coughs> But they also have fantastic deals this year round. So check them out. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will occasionally be posting more haul videos like this, but mostly you'll find crafty tutorials. Um, and then give this video a thumbs up if you like my very first haul video. Thanks for watching.